so my name is Pradim Naram and I am from Raisin Batch and my project name is On Demand Car Wash. So basically there are three ends in my project. So the front end is made up of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, basically using Angular. Okay. And the back end we used microservices and in the database we used Maori. So in my project I identified three roles. First one was customer, second one was car washer, and the third one is admin. So basically these are all the modules which were needed in this project. So let's move on to the microservice architecture. So first of all, user will place an order through Angular. You can see this. It will pass through the API gateway in the Leanweka server, and these are all the microservices which will be acting on it. So the first one is car wash microservice, the second one is the customer details microservice, the third one is order microservice, and the fourth one is washer microservice. And for the payment, we use the payment gateway. All these microservices are connected to the MongoDB. Right? So let's move on to the UI. So how does that look? So basically this is our home screen for car wash express, which is the name of our company for which we have made this website, right? So let's log into the admins account. Check what are the, all the operations admin can perform. So whenever we load onto the admins dashboard, this is how the admins dashboard looks like. So basically this is it. So this is the home screen for the admins dashboard. Let's see into it. Uh, sidebar which are all the features available for the admin. So here he can see the profile and also update the things in it. For now, main thing, admin need to, needs to add the wash packs. So let's try and add a wash pack to display in the customer's page dashboard. So let's uh, let's quickly give it a name like quick wash let's keep an amount of 1900 description let's add some random description so you can see that the wash pack is added right so let's go into the view wash pack this is a this is the window for the view wash pack let's check whether the wash pack has gotten added or not yes we can see the quick wash has been added and now let's try to update the thing Let's get some great description. So, our uh, service description. Let's take uh, some random description from here and put it here. And update. Now, let's go into the view wash and let's see if the description is being updated. Yes. And if we wish to, we can delete the things also. Normal crowd operations have been performed very easily in this project, right? So let's check how many washers are there in our company currently working. So basically, I registered only three washers. The first one is Sushil, second one is Namdev, third one is Rahul. And the details have been present over here, right? You can see the details, also the ID number, washer location, and the email address of the washer, right? So let's see, check the customers list. This is the list of customers who are registered in our service. So we'll just over all the uh, card, we can see the name of the customer registered over here. So we can see Ram, Sham, Ayush, Rohit, Shampal. These are all the customers, right? So herein we can add the uh, washer into the leaderboard. Once the washer passes some limit, we can add the admin is capable of adding the washer into the leaderboard. And herein we can see the leaderboard. So this is how the leaderboard looks like. How many water is, uh, water in liters have been saved by the washer? The washer's name, rank, actions can be performed right updating the washer's details. We can even okay. So these are all the things which can a washer can perform. And let's now check into the uh, customers dashboard whether the things which we have added here can be performed or uh, can be seen or not. So this is how we can register over here. First of all. Okay, so let's try now log in. So 
Ayos. Ayos. I think the data isn't loaded properly. Let us reload it once. Oh, yeah. So this is the home screen for iOS, which is custom. This is profile. Here in we we can see the wash packs which are been available for the customer. So let's select one. So this is a place order form. If we are selecting it, we need to place the order. So let's select some different because. I have already selected this select a random one. Let's select this. So we can see the sniper that self-service car wash is selected. Let's enter the car wash model name. Uh, let it be something random. Random car. Oh. Email address of Ayush will be Ayush at the rate one two three dot com. Yes, the order is in place. Now let's check. Please currently watch the details over here. And now if we we'll look into the My Orders section, we can see that random car model, right? Self service car wash, which we just placed, has been present in My Orders. Means the order has been placed successfully, right? We can check the date and time. The status is pending because we haven't play, uh, paid the thing yet. There is an uh, option of cancelling the order as well as in the payment. So let's try in a payment. We can see that from here we can pay. So let's have a quick walk through our Eureka. So herein we can see that all the microservices have been registered over here. Just reload it once. Yes, the, all the microservices have been registered over here. You can see. Let's have a quick walk through our packet. So this is. These are the microservices, API Gateway, Wash Admin, Wash Order, the Payment Microservice, the Washers Microservice, the Customer Details Microservice, the Jureka. So that's all from my side. Thank you. This is how our case study works. Thank you.